So, you know, you, you spoke about the future of DeFi here and some places where you think it could grow. Do you want to share a little bit about, based on your experience, where you might see DeFi continue to progress in 2023 and what elements or characteristics do you think will, will really define a successful protocol? And is it simply more adoption or, or is there something else here at play? So where, where I see DeFi growing is in everything that has to do with real world assets. First thing, I, I don't believe that the term DeFi for decentralized finance is the good term here. Uh, because there is a bias towards decentralization. Uh, I'm not saying that decentralization is bad. I'm saying that by uh, relying on decentralization full time, you are making uh, certain trade-offs which are not optimal when you think of the long-term adoption of DeFi. Uh, I prefer to use the term of open finance or just finance and blockchains. It's, it's less sexy, the, the marketing aspect of it is not as good as, as DeFi, but uh, at least this is what we really want to develop. You know, uh, at Angle, we're developing decentralized protocols, but w where uh, I see the biggest innovations and the space growing is towards new financial elements brought on-chain, but potentially in a centralized way, which is not bad, as long as it is better than everything that is done in traditional finance. Um, and where I see the uh, opportunities of growth, uh, uh, in 2023, it's in all the frameworks that will bring more elements, more primitives of traditional financial markets on blockchains. And this is what I care. And so how can protocols be successful around that? Uh, the protocols that will be successful for me is the protocols that will be able to, well, first solve the chicken and egg problem around like to be able to create at scale and to incentivize people at scale to come uh, to create these new primitives. Uh, you know, for instance, Curve has been really good uh, or Iniswap to create uh, alternatives to the Forex market on chain, um, on chain like off-chain forex market is a market which is super inefficient. You have a lot of different marketplaces. It's not always open. On Uniswap, you can trade forex 24-7 and there is a central uh, single marketplace which makes it more transparent, uh, cheaper for everyone. You just need more liquidity now. But um, protocols that will succeed are the protocols that will be able to provide these frameworks uh, to, to come uh, to, to that incentivize people to come on blockchains and the protocols that will keep innovating. Uh, I, I feel that if you don't innovate and if you are just copy pasting other protocols, there is no chance that uh, you, you succeed in the space. It's not all about marketing. There are still some tech elements to be found and some legal aspects of it. Also. So the protocols who will nail legal uh, will, uh, will make a big difference as well. Yeah, I, I completely agree. 